What's going on guys, Matthew Monas here, and today I wanna to talk about the iPhone XS. I wanna talk about what happened last night when I ordered this product online. You see, if you live on the East Coast, you gotta wake up at three o'clock in the morning to order an iPhone. If you live on the West Coast, it happens to be exactly at midnight. And if you're up during that time, most likely you were ordering an iPhone. Now, usually I get on there, I add the phone to my favorites, I make sure I'm there exactly on the time, I order it and I go back to bed. But this time I decided to stay up a little bit later. I wanted to see exactly how many units are being sold. I wanna see how fast the iPhone would sell out. Well, after an hour went by, the iPhone was still available in every single model from the Max to the regular 10S. So I'm like, that's weird. Usually by now there's a lot less stock. So I'm like, whatever, by the time I wake up in the morning, it has to be all gone. So I went to sleep and woke up at about six or seven in the morning, I checked again, bam! Everything is still available except for the 512 gigabyte model which got pushed to one to two weeks. Then before making this video, I checked one more time. You could still get the 10S and the 10S Max on the day it launches, which is September 21st. Now, a lot more did sold or get pushed to one to two weeks, but the fact of the matter is this is very unlikely for Apple because usually by now, things get pushed or delayed until Christmas time, or in fact, you can't even get an iPhone until the next year. So this is very weird for me. I think there's a couple of things happening here. First and foremost, these prices of these phones are outrageous. It's the same as last year, $9.99 for the iPhone XS, $10.99 for the iPhone XS Max. What's really disturbing is the fact they got rid of last year's iPhone X to pigeonhole you into one of these two devices, or spend the money on an inferior iPhone that's coming out in October. Now either that's what's happening and a lot of people are very happy with the devices they're currently using right now, or they're saying, you know what? Why should I spend money on these expensive iPhones? I'm gonna buy the iPhone XR or R instead because it's cheaper, has pretty much the exact same hardware. Sure, it has an inferior display. Sure, it only has one camera, but for most people that's more than enough. And it looks like the brand new iPhones that were currently released. Now, what are you really getting? with these new iPhones? Well, you're getting slightly faster hardware, but does most people actually need that? No, the iPhone 10, the iPhone 8 Plus, even the iPhone 7 is more than plenty fast. Even last year's CPU is still faster than a lot of the Android chips that are currently on the market. So a couple of things are happening. People are either skipping the upgrade, they're getting smart about spending money saying, hey, listen, I've had enough of these crazy prices. If you're gonna raise the prices, you might as well do something like the Galaxy Note 9 and give me a reason, give me a stylus, let me draw a picture of myself. Because quite frankly, you can't do that on the iPhone 10. So that's one of the reasons. The other reason is there's other great options out there for half the cost. So they're saying maybe I'll just buy that instead or I'll just hold on to my device for the entire time. So that's just my opinion. Either Apple is having a tough year, you know, convincing you that you need a brand new phone or people are waiting for the iPhone XR. I wanted to bring this discussion up to you guys because I think it's important. Apple, during this whole conference, was saying the, they were the first to do this and the first to do that, and quite frankly, half the things they announced are already being done on the majority of Android phones that are currently on the market, and I wanted to talk to you guys about it. Now, if you're curious, you wanna to talk to me personally, hop on my Discord channel, I'd be happy to have a conversation with you. If you're new to the channel, subscribe, like the video if you liked it, follow me on Instagram for some behind the scenes, and guys, don't worry, don't cry. I'll see you guys in the next video.